the San Juan worm. Love it or hate it, it's hard to argue that this thing catches fish. Now, I know there are a lot of purists out there who would not dream of tying this on their tippet, but now that I think about it, those guys are probably not even watching this video. But for those of you who don't shy away from non-traditional patterns, I think you're gonna like this one. And like any successful fly, the San Juan worm has spawned its fair share of variations. One of them is the infamous pink worm, which is basically a pink chenille body, but with a bulbous midsection, usually made out of something like an egg yarn. So that's a variation of the original, and what I'm about to tie for you is a variation of that variation. Instead of chenille, it uses a 1 8 inch faux leather lace for the body, and then a UV ice dub for the midsection. This variation was created by Bob O'Donnell of Maryland. He's a member of the Potomac Patuxent Trout Unlimited chapter that I belong to, and Bob calls this his San Don Juan worm because he says it's just a little bit sexier than the regular San Juan worm. And if you're wondering, does Bob know how to fish? I can assure you he does. He's got several big fish under his belt, several of them on this pattern. In fact, earlier today, he sent me this picture of a wild brown with this fly in its mouth. So this pattern, probably the simplest fly I've tied all year, just two materials, some UV eye stubbing, and then this faux leather lace, which I know a lot of you might not have this, so I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can pick some up. And I'll also put a link to Bob's tying instructions for anybody who wants to see them in print. So a pretty cool pattern, really simple to tie, and you know this thing catches fish. So there it is, what Bob calls the San Don Juan worm. Now this is a purple one, and let's tie a pink one for this one. Now the hook I'm using, this is a size 16. It's a fire hole number 718. Now it's too extra heavy, but it doesn't say how long it is. It just calls it a, an extended length. So I, it's at least a 1XL. It might be 2XL. I'm thinking one though. Now since I'm doing a pink one, I'm gonna use red thread. I didn't have any pink thread. I mean, I did, but it was UV ultraviolet and it was just a little bit too shiny and bright. So after you get your thread caught in, take a piece of this faux leather lace, about three times the, the length of the hook shank, cut your pieces, you know, get a little tip on it right there. And we're gonna catch it with about a third coming off the back. Okay, I think that's gonna work. And this is a 70 denier thread, so I can't dog it down real tight, but I can, you know, go as, as tight as I think I can get away with without breaking it. So I'll put a few wraps over it, a few under it, just trying to keep it from spinning around the hook on me. If it did, it's probably not the end of the world. But see, I've caught that in just almost in front of the about where the point is. If you go much farther back than that, when you build a big bulbous body, you, you run the risk of closing up that hook gap. So just be mindful of that. Now next, let's put some wax on and then our dubbing. Now the dubbing I'm using, just an ice dub. And I'm gonna use it this UV red, which is pretty much a pink. So I'm gonna dub, oh, maybe a two inch noodle right here, but it might actually take a couple of applications. Just go ahead and put the first one down and see if it got it thick enough. Okay, what do you think about that? I wanna go just a little bit thicker. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Now that's not quite as thick as an egg, but it's also not so thick that I'm risking closing up that hook gap. So just fold this over and then close it off, catch it off up here, just like we did in the back. And you'll see some folks do the whip finish right there where those thread wraps are, but I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish right under it. I just think when I put the UV resin on it, it's gonna give me a little bit better of a, a finish fly. Now take a look, see if you got anything you want to clean up. In this case, I'd advise against it. In fact, if it's not fuzzy enough, take your toothbrush or dubbing brush and just pick some of that out. Now what I'll do for finishing this, 
just flip it over and put a drop of either UV resin or super glue right there on those thread wraps and then let it wick in over those thread wraps. It'll just take a couple of seconds and then put your light on it. So there you go, super simple pattern, the San Don Juan Worm tied by Bob O'Donnell here in Maryland. Now I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.